end of the world occurred pretty much as we had predicted. Too many humans, not enough space or resources to go around. The details are trivial and pointless. The reasons, as always, purely human ones. The Earth was nearly wiped clean of life. A great cleansing, an atomic spark struck by human hands, quickly raged out of control. Spears of nuclear fire rained from the skies. Continents were swallowed in flames and fell beneath the boiling oceans. Humanity was almost extinguished, their spirits becoming part of the background radiation that blanketed the Earth. A quiet darkness fell across the planet, lasting many years. Few survived the devastation. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. When the great darkness passed, these vaults opened, and their inhabitants emerged to begin their lives again. One of the northern tribes claims they are descended from one such vault. They hold that their founder and ancestor, one known as the Vault Dweller, once saved the world from a great evil. According to their legend, this evil arose in the far south. It corrupted all it touched, twisting men inside, turning them into beasts. Only through the bravery of this Vault Dweller was the evil destroyed. But in so doing, he lost many of his friends and suffered greatly, sacrificing much of himself to save the world. When at last he returned to the home he had fought so hard to protect, he was cast out, exiled. In confronting that which they feared, he had become something else in their eyes and no longer their champion. Forsaken by his people, he strode into the wasteland. He traveled far to the north, until he came to the Great Canyons. There he founded a small village, Arroyo, where he lived out the rest of his years. And so, for a generation since its founding, Arroyo has lived in peace, its canyons sheltering it from the outside world. It is home. Your home. But the scars left by the war have not yet healed, and the Earth has not forgotten. Oh, those entrances are so good for getting you in the mode. Uh, the mood. Oof. There is a little cinematic bit toward the very beginning. Uh, plays a kiss to build a dream on. Have to edit that out though, otherwise Germany can't see this video. So there's that. If you are really curious, you can probably just search for Fallout 2 intro, and uh, someone will put it up there. But Germany, I don't think you'd be able to see it. Right. Moving on though, I've played Fallout 2 once. A long time ago, I think I only played it once, so I barely remember any of it. So please do help me out along the way. Something like this might work. Went female as I did last time. Went sex appeal and gifted sex appeal for really just the fun of it. Kind of going for a sexy, slutty kind of female type thing here with high charisma, high intelligence. Try to flirt my way into certain situations, get a bunch of companions with me, have them do most of the, the grunt work. Uh, although this might be an issue because I went unarmed to start with and I'm going to be going energy weapons toward the end, kind of as I did last time in Fallout 1. Although I went melee weapons in Fallout 1, went unarmed in this game because I think this game's got more... Uh, I know there's like a boxing ring that you can do at some point that I kind of want to get involved in. Uh, you can get like special unarmed attack moves like haymakers and jabs and stuff like that. And kind of want to play around with that, roundhouse kicks... Stuff like that. Want to play around with that. Uh, learning from last time, went high agility this time. Nine action points, nine armor class. Action points are so clutch. I just didn't have enough before. You could barely move and became a really big issue. Sixth strength seems to be the magic number. You can get power armor in this game as well. And I think a surgical modification to get yourself to, up to 10 strength. Again, not going to mid-max my character. Not looking to get all 10s. I know what's possible, don't really know how, don't really care. But 6 strength is what I've always gone with, seems good. Perception 5, left that standard, endurance 6, add a sacrifice somewhere. I sacrificed an endurance and I think I dropped luck down a point as well. Uh, 33 health seems pretty good. My radiation resistance is 12, poison resistance 30, I don't know. We'll figure it out along the way. High charisma, high intelligence again, going kind of... Whatever, agility high, luck five, left that kind of where it is. 
I don't know. We'll see what, uh, we'll see what we do again. Gonna try to talk my way in and out of certain situations. Unarmed to start, and she weapons toward the end. Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Right on. Gotta do some Temple of Trials first thing. Looks like we got strong punch. No kick. That's fine. Uh, I think pretty much the game is... At its core, the same game. I don't think there's such a strict time limit, though. I forget if you can fart around and do whatever you want after you find the Gek or not. But I know there is no, like, crazy fast time limit where you lose in a matter of seconds. Let's talk to this guy. Clint, a fellow tribesman. Good day to you. You have not completed the trial. The Elder. Trial of the Elder and may not pass. Uh, I need to go back to the village. Forgive me, I cannot allow you to pass. If you wish to return to the village, you may do so only by passing the trial set before you. Uh, I could kick your ass and just walk out of here. Two people working together can move the obelisk that blocks the path alone. You would fail. I have no intention of helping you until you pass the trial. Uh-huh. Right. I don't remember if you can talk your way out of that or not. Seems like the brightness is too high on this. Let's drop that down a bit. The character looks naked because of how bright it was. There we go. There's a slight bra there. Couldn't see it before. In we go. We'll see what we've got. I think this is just a basic thing here. Giant ants. If I remember rightly, there's also traps everywhere. I'm in a dark, musty temple. The shadows seem to play tricks with your eyes, and you can hear the faint sound of movement. Right. Uh, anything in these side little alcoves here? Probably not. Worth checking anyway. And looks like maybe no traps here. That end over there sees me. This one doesn't, though. Odd. Let's move over here and have them come to me, drain their time units. Oh, right. High agility. I actually have a... Uh, what's it called? I think it's in my character sheet. The, uh, the, the sequence. Sequence of 10 because of my agility is being so high. So I can actually go twice in a row then. I'll, uh, I'll have to keep that in mind. It looks like that ant doesn't see me at all move back a little more, get this guy all up on so I can just spend all of my action points punching him. Can we go for an aimed punch? Yeah, no. No, not really. Okay, we'll just go for a few strong punches then. Hit him for four, missed, and let's play it safe, back up a bit. Come on. Come on, it's just an ant. There we go. Maybe just have five health, similar to the rats at the very beginning of the last game for destroying many, so I'll take and scratch 25 experience. I think in this game you also get a bonus for uh, for killing multiple things in uh, in one go. Not sure on that, though. Let's go for... Oh, God, one strong punch. Hit it for six and knocked it out. Jesus. All right. Can I loot them? No, no loot. All right. I think you get a bonus experience for killing multiple things in one combat sequence. Could be wrong, though. That is a very fancy door for this temple. And we do have red scorpions. Great. My poison resistance being 30%? Yeah, 30%. Not sure if we'll get poisoned or not. I think there might be treasure in this room, though, if we do clear them out. How many are there? Just one? Oh, there is two. There's one hidden down there. All right, let's let's uh, let's play this game of sequence here. Too far away? Too far away. Put a little bit of sequence. 
go for... Really? Still too far away? Jesus. I guess we'll just go for an aimed strong punch in the eyes for funsies. Managed to hit him. Six damage. I think I go again? Yep. Go, go sequence. That's going to be so nice. That was such a pain in the uh, in Fallout 1 with my character. I had so little amount of agility. Everything got to go again. Really caused a lot of issues for me later on. Can I manage to... Three, is that enough? Maybe I need four. Three is enough. Good. Playing it safe. Trying not to get poisoned. I really don't want to be fighting poison through this. Although I think... I think I might be able to get... Oh, look, a spear. I'm unarmed, though. Take all. That's a nice button to have there. Another. I think I can get poisons in here. I don't remember for sure. And looks like no. No treasures or anything unless I just flat out missed it. Who knows? More ants. More ants. Uh, we'll go for a third hit here. No, nothing. Sequence. And got him down. And combat. Move on up a little bit to this guy. Let's see here. If I initiate combat and move up to him and attack him a couple times... Do I still get to go again? No. Okay. Fair enough. My first damage taken. Bummer. And I'm just swinging wildly. Can't hit ants to save my life. No loot. I do see this barrel here, and I think there's another ant in the corner. Search the pot. We got healing powder. Good deal. And there's that ant. Just quickly... Very quickly, take him down to just one hit. And looks like nothing else there. I forget where the traps are in this place. I remember there being traps because you can make up a lot of experience. I think this door is locked and you got to blow it open with plastic explosives. It's an old door with the old rusty lock. You can either blow it open or practice your pay, uh, lock picking skill. Don't have very good lock picking skill at all. We'll probably just need to blow it open. We got three scorpions here. I guess, uh, well, we'll just end turn here. He'll move to me, maybe, if he sees me. No. Now he sees me. He turned around and saw me. Managed to stay just far enough away. We should be able to get six punches in before he gets to go again. Two hits. All that was needed. Another scorpion tail. My strength being 6, I do got to keep an eye on carry weight. I'm at 175. I'm at 65 right now out of 175. Okay. I think we'll be okay for here. Maybe get the initiative. Move in, punch him, and move back. There we go. Now I think I get to go twice in a row. No, oh, only needed to hit him once more, though. Blind another turn, let him move a little closer. Don't think sequence works after the first turn. If they initiate combat, they get to move in. But... I don't know. Maybe it's just a chance. Maybe I got unlucky. Still figuring it out. Not used to it. I'm never I'm never used to playing a, a agility-based character. I always went with like a sniper-type guy. Somebody who didn't need to move around very much, but had really high perception. My brother did the same. Alright, so I can't open it. At all. Need to lockpick it, huh? Could have sworn there were plastic explosives somewhere. Lockpick being two. Alright. We'll try it. We will try it. Oh, got it. Good. It was a really, really shitty lock. And this is the room with traps, I think. Yeah, there's a hole there. A suspicious hole in the wall. I think it shoots, like, poison darts or something. I see a raised plate. Do I really, though? Oh, yep, there it is. Ouch, I saw it at the very last second. There's another one there, right in front of me. Very hard to see. Let's see if I can use traps. Traps being four. Let's see what we can do. Failed. Ah, there we go. Disarmed it. 25 experience. Very nice. There's another one. Try to disarm this one as well. Get a nice bit of experience in here. And if you trigger them, I think you can even pick up the darts that they shoot out. 
use them later on. This one's being an ultra pain to disarm. Not very good at this whole disarming thing. I'm waiting for it to just to go off. Yikes. No, nothing? Alright, fine. We'll just move on. Another race play there. And another one there. High perception skill working in my favor today. I think I might just move on. This is taking way long. One more try. No. All right. We'll just move on. Disarm trap. Ah, not being high enough. And I think we're good. Yeah. I think it's just that room. Yep. Yep. Looks good. Two red scorpions, maybe a third hidden. Nope, just two. All right, we'll move in. We'll see if I can go again. Might not even need to. Let's just end turn here where we at. He moves in and takes a swing. Misses, though. I have enough action points to take both of them down if I hit with all shots. Let's play it safe, though. Glad I played it safe. Come on. Come on. Ouch. Managed to catch up to me because he was able to just go diagonally. Cheating bastard. Alright, take your stingers. I'd imagine it's the same in the first game where I can use their stingers to make antidote. I think there's antidote and plastic explosives in this chest. Nope, just healing powder. Maybe I'm imagining the explosives. I don't know. Could have sworn it was in some pot somewhere though. Ah, whoa, whoa, I see a lot of raised plates. Holy crap. Any ants in this room? No, next room? Okay. Moving on. This pot got the explosives? I know one pot does. I think I get to go a second time? Yep. Punch, punch, punch. There's the plastic explosives. I remember that. I could have sworn it was in here somewhere. Because this door doesn't have a... Anything. An old worn door looks like it could be destroyed with a well-placed explosive. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And right around the corner. Ow, hurts more than scorpions do. Fucking thing. And the other one joined in the fray. Not sure if I get to go a second time. We'll risk it. Manage to kill him. Doesn't matter. And another chest. Probably more healing powder. Another ant as well. Move in on him. There's another one down there. Move on to the side of him. So if the other ant engages, he has to move extra far. Don't think the other ant knows what's going on, though. Come on. Fine, I'll start. Wish I could kick. I think I need a higher unarmed skill in order to kick. Ouch. I remember you being able to do that. Because I remember a boxing ring and you can like weigh the glove or something like that. You cheat and put lead in it or something and you punch extra hard. There's the antidote. I don't think I'm poisoned though. No, not poisoned. Not yet anyway. And more raised plates. Alright, let's see here. Use. Uh, we better set it for a minute. My explosive skill is being really bad, so it'll probably go off early. And for now, 5 being first aid. Let's heal myself up. My max health being 33. Let's see here. None. Explosive goes off. Did blow up prematurely. That's why I didn't want to set it for like 10 seconds or something. It probably would just blown up in my hands. First aid not being very effective. There we got one. Three points there. Not wearing a pit boy, so I have no idea what time it is. I don't know if this passes time or not. You would think it does, but it didn't in the first game. My first aid skill is really, really bad. Most of my skills are bad. 
If it doesn't include killing something, I probably can't do it. Let's give it one more try, then move on. Yeah. Can't disarm traps, can't do first aid. That fucking trap I remembered at the very last second. Nearly avoided it. Where's... Where did the thing go? can actually loot the dart that they spit out. Nah, I can't find it, though. Uh, huh. It's all coming back to me now. Very, very faintly. This is one of those games that I was, I was really young, and when I always played the... When I always played really any game, I'd always just start over, over and over and over again. I would never beat the game, I would just keep playing it. So I remember the temple pretty well. I remember... I remember geckos and ouch that goo burns. Uh, I remember a robot dog and I remember boxing. Everything else, kind of a gray area for me. But we'll see. Comment section, hopefully some nice hints and tips in there. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't escalate to people just straight up telling me how to play though. I consider that backseat gaming and not a huge fan of that. Probably just ignore the comments that are, like, overly helpful, if you will. The ones that are like, go to this town, get this weapon and use it, and then go here. It's like, no, 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 probably not. I don't know, maybe that just sounds mean. Eh, there's a carry limit. I thought we'd encounter it sometime. Let's give up a spear. And see if I can hold it. No? Wait, no space left for that item. Really? I can't put a spear on the scorpion? Alright, what if I just... Well, how much does that weigh? Four pounds? Twenty pounds? Holy shit, scorpion tails are heavy in this game. All right, never mind. Dropping a spear wouldn't wouldn't help much. And healing powder antidote. Do have enough space for those? I think healing powder, it does heal you, but it reduces perception? Something like that? Got one ant, two ants, two ants. Move in and take down this guy. Come on. Got him. And one shot him. Nice. I think I... I think I should have gone, like, heavy-handed instead of sex appeal, but I really want sex appeal just to help me out. Because there's a lot of male characters in this game, and having the sex appeal with high charisma, I think, mixed in with high speech as well. We'll try a few first dates here, see if I can heal myself up for what's beyond this door. I do remember. Although I don't think it's too difficult. Oh, that was a decent one. Two health. I think I got one more first aid left in me. Eh, that's a good one. Four hit points. I'll take it. I remember breaking this part so much because this chest, I think, is empty. This is where your gear is put, though. Because eh, you drop your gear and you go fisticuffs with this fucking guy, Cameron. But I remember... I think I remember falling back enough, lockpicking this door and going through the chest or something like that. I don't know. I remember breaking it in some way, shape, or form. Greetings. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? I think I got some questions for you first. What would you like to know? Why do we have to fight? Oh my god, he gives me a fucking book. The Path of the Chosen One is not an easy trial to walk. You will, be forced, you will be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime, and the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless, and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human, look him in the eyes, and know that you may have to kill him. I disagree with you. I think that a peaceful solution to any problem is possible. You may be correct, but not in our current situation. You must defeat me to succeed in your trial. And a book for a book. Look, I don't know all of your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't know mine. Accidents do happen, so what if one of us inadvertently kills the other other? The other other? The other other. Let's just end this now rather than take the chance, okay? Hmm, I see your point. I wouldn't want to be responsible for killing you when all I meant to do was test your metal. Very well, you may pass. Barter? Doesn't want to barter with me. Alright, thanks. I'll see you back in the village. And there we go, and then you can go ahead and fight him anyway if you really want to. But I don't remember if that has any repercussions once you leave. Any hidden pots or anything? 
one way of doing this game, talk your way through everything that's actually possible. And again, if you have really low intelligence, then you don't know words. You just kind of grunt and groan your way through the game. Low charisma, you're pretty much the ugliest thing ever, and nobody wants to talk to you. 